Can I say hi? Yeah. Okay, hi. Can I say hi to your friends? Go on. This is all you, baby. Um, shoot, <laughs> I'm thinking. Hey guys, um, this is Sabrina here. I'm here with my friend. Um, um, um. <gasps> okay, so, hi guys. We're back. Never been here, but we are back. <laughs> Someone's gonna tweet that. <laughs> like like my last, last two brain cells. <laughs> so my eyes look a little crazy because I'm wearing contacts. I don't know how this is gonna look, so just in case I need to explain myself. There's the explanation. <clears throat> Anyways, you. Anyways, hello. Um, I decided to film a video <laughs> today. You're like saying that like I'm like pointing a gun at you. <laughs> we are turning ourselves into reindeers. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer mm -hmm. inspired makeup. So we're just gonna, you know, go off on our own ideas of what Rudolph could possibly do and be. And you know, as girls in 2019, the 20th century. I feel like this is a song. And today, I decided. I should we do it? A singing intro. Hey, guy. Oh, wait, should we actually? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Ready? Hey, 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 hey. I don't like this. I don't like it. <laughs> I know. That's really bad. Um, <laughs> we've come full circle. Um, no, I'm gonna shut up. Okay, I'm that was real. Okay, so we might begin now. So I don't know. This was the worst intro of all time. But I also, we're gonna be answering some questions. I asked you guys to ask us questions, so we might answer some, we might not. I don't know yet. We don't know. 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 Wow. I got copyrighted in my fun. last video, but just imagine Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer playing in the background. Yeah. You gotta use your imagination sometimes. <laughs> Why were you shaking when you did that? I, like, I drank a lot of coffee. Oh my dear. Leave me alone. Is this serious? Wait, why does this look horrible? No, it, well, you also have it backwards. The ears are this way. Look, Selena. But the ears are this I way. I like the rules here. <laughs> Let's get started. Ooh, I like this concealer. I know, me too. I just got it, like literally, like an hour ago. Do you ever get like tiny, like little inflamed taste buds? Like I don't. Yeah. I've never I, had my first kiss, so I don't know how that happened. I have never I, even touched another human being. Humans? What are those? <laughs> I don't even go out. Who are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm a cat. I don't even know. Is this I'm a backwards cat. Is it a backwards? I feel like a backwards cowgirl. Backwards. I've heard that it breaks you out, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of apple cider vinegar, and my skin's looking nice. This apple cider vinegar Look, clear your skin. It's really good for your skin. It helps you lose weight. It also gives you energy or it's calming or something like that but the first two are very it's like very opposite it gives you energy but it's calming um so our first question is from at zodiful and she wants to us to describe each other in three words i'd like to say sweet as my first word for cindy actually fuck it i'm gonna say all three i think zap is sweet um Touch. no i would say really kind I, I would say you're really innocent, Aww. honestly. Um, and hmm, you're just like a little cutie. <laughs> and, and creative. That's so sweet. Creative, creative. I would describe Cindy as <laughs> beautiful person inside and out. Wait, that's not like one word. I'm gonna say genuine, kind, and very beautiful. <laughs> like she's genuinely Aww. so beautiful, it's crazy. Oh my like, guys, she's lying, she's seen me without makeup. No, but that's the thing, you're so pretty with and without makeup and inside and out. So that's like a really good word to describe you. You wanna make me cry? I'm like, should I explain what I'm doing? 
My hands are getting stuck. Should I'm going to put this pink eyeshadow. Guys, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Where did you two meet and how? I think. Wait, where did we meet? At your house. When Gage invited me. No, we met at Delilah. <clears throat> we met at Delilah. What, did we meet me? Did we say hi? Yeah. Let's go. You could get into the future. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember you have pink hair. For what? So I'm just fucking going. Is Delilah's a restaurant or is it a club? I feel like it's not a club. It's both. We love variety. Maybe you have queen Excuse me for providing for our family. <laughs> okay, Miss Attitude. <clears throat> Brina put her headband on and got it all frame. <laughs> <laughs> she said. I respect the Cindy community, yeah. but I just ain't it. Well, that was funny. Yeah, I'm funny. Next question. What are your top three pet peeves? I don't like touching food. Touching my food? Hands. I don't know. Let me think. What's one of my pet peeves? I don't like mean people. Like, I, no, well, no, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What's one of my pet peeves? I think, like, when people aren't grateful, I guess, like, Appreciative. That's like a whole thing in itself, though. I don't like when people are rude to like, their waiters. Oh, I hate that so much. I used to be a waitress when I was in high school, and oh, and <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the only reason people have pet peeves here is because there is a word for pet peeves. In Spain, there's no word, so no one has any pet peeves. Just because like there's a word for it, so it makes you be like it bothers you once, and you're like, oh, that's my like pet peeve. And then you like focus on it. Yeah. You know? Like naturally, no one would like when people are mean. Like, I mean, there's some people that actually like that though. They're into that. Next question. Oh, I don't like when people text and drive or like are on their phone and drive. It scares me a lot. I don't like when people are not like overall not very safe drivers when I'm in the car. I think it shows like how much people care about you when like they're like willing to ride the rest of your life. Next question. Favorite things about yourself? What's your favorite thing about yourself? If you had to like pick. I like that I make a constant effort to try and be a good person. Like I'm not perfect and I'm not like the best person to ever exist, but I do try to like always like learn and educate myself. And I'm open to hear about like the things that I do wrong and always open to like learn and change them. Like, I'm not scared to like... And they grow from it? Yeah. I like that. Some people don't like, they take it differently. So like, yeah. it's nice that you think like that. I think that's the reason I read everything online and like take everything so too hard is because like, I generally like take everyone's opinions on me like seriously to an extent, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I honestly completely understand that. Probably not to the extent that you've experienced it so far. I can understand from what I know from what I've experienced. Yeah. That's a really good one. I think what I like the most about myself is I'm very into manifesting. So like I literally, anything I've ever wanted, like I will persevere and make sure I make it through anything. Like I know that at the end of the day, like everything's gonna be okay. And I have that faith constantly, even when I'm having the worst day, I'm like, oh, it's okay. Tomorrow's gonna be better. Um, next question. Greatest advice you've ever received? I think the greatest advice I've ever received actually kind of goes against like what I just said, but someone told me once, do whatever you want to do, because at the end of the day, people that want to talk negatively about you are going to do so regardless of what you do. People that talk negatively about others usually are just doing it because they have their issues within themselves and like, no matter if you are the best person in the world, they're going to, like... Find something. Yeah, they're going to find something wrong with you. I actually really agree with that. That's a like, really good one. always take in mind people's perspectives, but also, like, know who you are, know what your intentions are. At the end of the day, you know yourself best, and, like, you should be your greatest friend. No one else, no one else's opinions matters unless you think they matter. 
that's the tea. And that's tea. And that's that on Dr. Phil. Uh, and that's some period love. Um, <laughs> I feel like a lot of the best advice I've gotten has been like, not gonna lie, through life hacks or like through movies and things I've watched. But I'm gonna have to say, okay, there's two really good advice I've gotten. One was from my friend Nessia. Nessia, if you're watching this, I appreciate you very much. Um, was when I was going through a breakup, my first breakup, generally like she was telling me about what she's realized about her life and I was like, oh wow, that's a really good way to see it. But basically that you yourself as a person are always complete on your own and anything attached to that or anything that you care about or just anything aside from your own being is just an accessory. But you as a person are always complete on your own. Like anything you add to your life, from people to places to memories to things is all just an accessory. And I, I don't know, that like, that stayed with me. Right? Yeah. That was really nice. It made me think about a lot of things. So anytime I'm like sad over something or like sad because I think someone's like leaving my life, I'm like, you know what, it's fine because I'm still complete on my own. I'm still my own person. And I'm still like a good person. Like I know at the end of the day, I can go to sleep knowing that I'm a good person, which is something Lauren told me actually. Hey. Lauren, if you're watching this, hi. Hey. I'm using very different makeup products than what I usually use, so it probably looks super different than what I usually do, but it's fine. We're trying new things. Favorite memory so far with each other? What was that? Ice skating. Oh, ice skating was fun. I personally just like when we chill and like we talk about life. I had a really good day that day we went to um, volunteer. Oh, me we, too. we like, talked the whole time. That was really nice. Yeah. We had went to, um, like, what was it called? We went to this regional food bank in LA, and you guys should volunteer. I'll even put the link if you guys want to do that. But we went, and we just, like, it was me, Cindy, Kyle. We went, and we had a really good time. And we were running behind for, like, five minutes, so then they, like, put us there. Like, they found a spot for us, and then we were just kind of talking for a long time while we, like, worked, and it was, it was really nice. It felt very peaceful. I don't know, I just like talking to you. Oh, I love you. Me too. I think like that's always a good feeling. You should always feel that with friends. Yeah, I agree. What's your favorite meme at the moment? Are you ready to receive some information that could possibly hurt <laughs> Me you? too. I love that so much. Actually, that's so funny. That's, I think that's my favorite right now too. It's so good. It's it just like so works with everything. If you could only listen to one album for an entire year, which one would it be? I don't know, the other day I was listening to Lord's first album and I was like, wow. Oh, that's such a good album. Incredible. Frick, that's a really good question. What's your favorite song by Lord? Honestly, every song. I was just like, she's a really good writer. I think, I don't know, I think my favorite by Lord is I want to say green light or supercut. I really like supercut. It's like just such a like inspiring song. When I make a movie one day, I want that to be like the opening scene or the ending scene or both. Or just the whole movie. Just the whole movie. That's the movie, Lord. She's just so talented. What's that? Self-care. I like Mac's self-care um, album. I could listen to that for a year, to be honest. I really, really love Harry Styles, mm -hmm. Harry Styles' album. Um, and Don't Smile at Me, for, Billy's first album was really incredible. It depends on like where I'm at in life. Like I love certain artists or certain types of music. Oh no. It's a, definitely a hard question, to be honest. I'm just vibing. Me too. If you had to switch lives with someone else, what person would you choose? Rihanna. Ooh, that's a good answer. I'm like, what direction do I want to go with that answer? Like, do I want to go like famous person-wise or do I want to go like... Someone inspiring? Yeah. Or even like, cause I'm thinking like, what if I switched lives with like someone that has the complete opposite life as me? So like... Just, is it just for a day? Yeah. I would like to. You know how there's like seven people in the world that look exactly like you? Mm -hmm. I would like to switch with one of them 
just because I think it'd be interesting to live life just like you, but in a completely different like environment. Like I was thinking about that and I was like, how crazy? Because like, there's someone that looks exactly like you, but just has a completely different life. You're kind of scary, but very cool at the same time. I think I would kind of want to switch with Anne Hathaway. I don't know why, but I feel like she just has like a really interesting life. Anne Hathaway is just such an interesting person to me. If she ever watches this, which she probably won't, but like, hi, I'm a big fan girl here. I would like Elon Musk and like see the kind of shit he does, you know? Yeah, or even like someone from like across the country that like maybe knows nothing about social media that lives on the complete opposite side of like the world. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> next question. What inspired you to make YouTube? Back when I was in middle school, I was just really into watching YouTube videos and I always like just wanted to make some because I just felt like that was just something I wanted to do. I never like actually started working on it until I moved to LA because there was just like so many people that were inspiring me to be like, you know what, just do it. Like, what about you? I started doing YouTube when I was with Niels because he like was doing it and he just inspired me to do it. I also just wanted to get out of my shell and like, I wanted to use it in order to get over my social anxiety. Um, what's y'all's favorite boy band? Do you have a favorite boy band? Mine is One Direction. It's always been One Direction. I listen to boy bands. Really? No. I've always been like more leaning towards like female artists for some reason. I actually understand that. Um, Best and worst things about modeling and what made you want to get into it? I think one of the worst things about it is also one of the best. I I sometimes don't like how aware of like yourself and like taking care of yourself, having to exercise, having to like knowing what you have to eat, like doing skincare because like one of like part of your job is like to take care of yourself and while that can like like be good and be seen as therapy like sometimes you you like try really hard to like be in shape and, like and like your skin ha like be good and like sometimes it's not under your control and like hormones affect this and like genetics affect it and like it can get really frustrating and like really like mentally unhealthy like you can feel like it's not enough no matter yeah. what you do but it's also one of the best things. Learn about yourself, how you can take care of yourself. It's also just a competitive like workspace and it's it's definitely not the healthiest thing to like have what you look like like matter. Determine how so much like, money you make. Yeah. But it's also a relatively easy job. It's what a lot of people dream of doing and like everyone that does it is definitely lucky. There's like Good sides about it, bad sides, it's just like any job, to be honest. I just always wanted to do it, and I like like the artistic side of it. Like I love doing editorials where they give you like like storylines, and like it's kind of like acting. It's kind of like a movie. I like the art of it. I love designing. I design my own clothes, and I also love photography. So I love everything that comes along with it, not just the model inside. What about you? Um, I think <clears throat> for me, probably one of the hardest things is kind of like the same thing where you're so self-aware about like how you look that it becomes like, if you don't look how you're supposed to look according to, according to the people that are getting you the jobs, you won't be making, it just determines how much money you make in a sense. It could be a good thing because I've learned so much about like self-care. Like I just, I know that like the way that I look ends up being something that I just have to like take care of. And sometimes you just want to have like your ugly days or you know, you just want to be able to look, just be comfortable. But you always have to be like conscious about like what you're doing and eating. Um, but either way, like I, like she said, I feel really privileged and lucky that I'm able to even do modeling as a job because a lot of people want to do that and it, they have a hard time starting off. Also, I wanted to, I didn't think I was going to be able to model to be honest until I, my mother agent reached out to me because of the fact that I am short and I had pink hair at the time, so I just didn't think it'd be possible. And then like, when it became possible, I was like, oh wow, like this can really happen, like not just for me, but for anybody. Yeah. And it was really cool. Um, 
I feel like I've experienced a lot because of modeling. Like, I have a lot of the things I've wanted to happen. have to do wait what it's not about what you have no it's not about what you do it's about what you do with what you have what i'm not gonna lie you're losing me here small <laughs> it's about what you do with... you're doing amazing sweetie it's about what you do for others with it matters not what you've done but what you do with what you've done for others <clears throat> it matters not what you do but what you've do done do it matters, matters not, not what you do, but what, what you do. do. <laughs> it matters not, not what you've done, done but what you do with, with what you've done for others. Wow. And that's the T. And that's a period, love. <laughs> I did so many. Like, it looks almost unnatural. Damn. You ruined your natural everyday I makeup. <laughs> I'm low key. I've been holding my pee this whole time. Oh my god, I forgot. I thought maybe I could impress her with my makeup skills and this is what happened. Now Cindy is scared of me. It's not about what you've done, it's about what others are gonna do with the makeup that you've done. You know what? You guys, I'm so sorry, this is so ugly. I don't know what I think I'm doing. Like why? Why did I do extra? This literally would have been so nice.
Um, what's your favorite member of One Direction? Zane. Harry. Do you like cheese sticks? I love them. I don't know why I said it like that. I love them. <laughs> Christmas or Halloween? Halloween for me. I'm gonna say Christmas. I love Halloween, but Christmas is just like, everyone's usually in like a specific like holiday giving spirit and I love that. Do you jewel? No. Do you jewel? Mm -hmm. It's because of the lashes. Lashes do so much for our community. We respect the lash community. We love the lash us. community. Oh, highlight. Hey, 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 hey uh. I don't know my phone died. Oh. <laughs> you said. Um. I literally use so much of this, but it's because it's gonna make me look more glowy. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I swear you guys were almost done. Wait, wait, where are you going with that? Trust. A little glow. You know what I'm saying? You know it's going down? You know what the heck is going down? Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Blitzing and ritzing and all his reindeer. <laughs>